Hi everyone, my name is Saranga and today I am going to talk about something that most of us suffer or want in our lives but then that something suffers an existing crisis. So uh, another times would be, one of the times would be when you miss the dates of your month and when your parents know you have a boyfriend or oh, another that when you have a bad tummy. So in this particular situation, if a bartender would have to make a drink, he would go like, Hello ma'am, how would you like a drink to be? One portion of you missing on your dates, one portion of your parents knowing you have a boyfriend, oh and a whole bottle of a bad tummy? That's an amazing combination ma'am. Why don't we add a little bit of humor to it and a little, a little bit of uh, spicy parental overreacting dramatics? You obtain an exquisite, breathtaking bloody days of the month. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> so I get home after a really long day at college and before reaching home I indulge on this extremely unhygienic but yummy dabirli that a guy sells right in front of a railway station with a gutter running under his tailor. The gutter just adds to the dabirli, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm home and I take my shoes off and I feel something really wrong with my tummy. It's one of those situations uh, when you try really hard to hold some sand in your fists and the sand slips away no matter how hard you try. So the very same thing was happening to me. Um, I get home and the very same time I feel like a hundred fire breathing dragons playing football on my chest. And they wanted to come out. So they almost out and I run towards the bathroom and I puke. And I literally see the cheese bits, the red masala and the pav bits of the dabili all over the same. <laughs> so I'm out of the bathroom after one hour practically battling with my intestine. And I'm outside and I, look, and I look at my mother. She looks at me with suspicion. And I ignore the expression for some time. I smile at her and I head back to my room. So the next morning I have a bath, I dress up and I get going to my college when I hear a knock on my door. I open the door and I see it's mom. I say, hi mama, good morning. She has she still has the same expression on her face. And she gets inside my room, she closes the door behind her. And uh, for, I don't know why, she awkwardly starts a conversation saying, <clears throat> Saranga, you okay, right? You missed out on your chums the last month. And you were puking yesterday. Everything's okay, right? I'm like, yeah mama, everything's okay, what's wrong? So then she goes to the main topic, saying, you are pregnant, right? So I'm like, what? No, of course not, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> so while we are on this topic, let's talk about two versions of my life, which are very similar to before Christ in the Undomini. So uh, only here, the BC would be before confidence and AD would be, Acha beta, you can do it. So in this BC time period of mine, my brain would have never allowed me to come up on stage and talk to people. It's like one of those times when girls are not allowed outside the house. Only here, the annoying relative stopping the girl from going outside the house would be my brain and the girl would be my self-confidence. So in this particular situation, my brain would go like, <clears throat> Kaha ja ho tum? And my self-confidence would go like, Up on the stage or kaha? So then my brain would go like, You know if you screw up, log kya kahenge? Are log hasengi tum pe? And then my self-confidence would go like, okay. So that, my dear people, was the story of my dark BC period. <laughs> so before this limited stage appearances that I had, a miniature me would pop out from nowhere and say, hey Saranga, it's okay, it's just a stupid performance. What's the worst that could happen? You would forget what you had to say. That's okay. Everybody forgets. That's life. So then comes phase 2 when my heart starts pounding at the speed of 200 km per hour for which it should be arrested for, for speeding of course but then we're in India so <laughs> after that you have phase 3 when you are a second rater to be on stage pushing the eyes and the people would just stop piercing through your soul and would just stop stepping you down naked with their eyes <laughs> like a huge bunch of zombies wanting to eat the only human brain available in the room that pressure is on you. Oh, I'm talking about pressure. <coughs> Don't even get me started. At that particular point, I feel like my intestines are losing it. Like literally losing it. Like how drunken people lose their shit and puke. Only here the drunken person would be my intestine and the puke would be, <coughs> you know what. Then comes stage 4 when 
your state existing crisis are just about to sink in and you my dear have been given the mic <laughs> that second all those times when you were practicing the script while you were pooping or while you asked your poor little dog to listen to your bullshit or when the neighboring fat halwai lady was you know taunting you for your stuttering <coughs> hi auntie or when you take a few drags of a cigarette just to calm yourself down and to muster up some courage all of that trust me it just goes to waste the only thing that comes out of your mouth is the stuttering blah 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 vomit and you making a desperate attempt to make the vomit look pretty so you just take a flower off or whatever you're wearing and you go like that looks pretty <laughs> so while all of this is going on from the corner of your eye you see something dangerous or someone wants to kill you or someone with glowing red eyes looking at you with an expression saying mil to backstage kachra karte performance ka bande kachra and you're like i've seen him somewhere i've seen him somewhere oh wait that's the director of the performance shit for now he's the guy in your land <laughs> and suddenly your brain goes into a repair mode saying oh dear no 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 this cannot be happening something has to be done Then a scene from Naruto pops up into your head, like this power bands you have while have while surfing the internet, and uh, it goes like, "No, I am not going to give up. The director and his clan are counting on me. I must take this performance. I will win. That's my ninja way." <laughs> so now my mind is high fiving the imaginary Naruto in my head, and the director's look changes. It's time to take the script back from the recycling bin. Nine Tail Fox, I might need your chakra. Bring it on, zombies. <laughs> <laughs>